For thousands of years, improvisation has been a part of music. Even after the development of written music in the 15th century, improvisation was still valued. All the greats, Bach, Handel, Mozart, Beethoven, Chopin, and Liszt, were known for their improvisational skills. But in the early 20th century, improvisation declined. Now, a new generation of composers and performers is rediscovering improvisation, and they are expressing the music that lies inside them. The Moxie Strings found their passion after learning to play classically in high school. In our public school system and in our music education system in the United States, classical music is, is what you learn, it's what you play, it's pretty much standard protocol. Um, but that means that there's not any improvisation. There needs to be this in our classroom and there needs to be creativity in the classroom. Two, ready, go! So the Moxie Strings are making it their mission to introduce improvisation to students across the country. My reaction was really good. Like, the music was so inspiring. Like, when I first heard it, I just went like, pow, like, speechless. It's really hard to play improvisationally, but that's why um, I like it a lot, because it gives you a lot of confidence in your abilities. We always say our clinics are designed for the back half of the orchestra. Those students that really know that they love their instruments and they love music and they love being a musician, but what they're being offered in school might not be what they either love or feel that good at, but they're the perfect candidates to just be offered this idea that if they're, it, try something different, figure out what type of musician you'd like to be, hone in on what you love about music and what you love about being a musician and go that avenue instead. And that is equally awesome and okay. Carrie Shelfo teaches hundreds of students in a large high school orchestra. I think the biggest shock for me was seeing kids when we've worked with Moxie Strings in the past, kids who barely talk in my classroom, get up on stage in front of an auditorium full of people and improvise, play a solo in front of a full theater. Shelfo says improvisation gives students a new way to communicate. It encourages students to take risks, be more resilient, collaborate, and think outside the box. I think it's so vital to include improv in your, in your curriculum. It always creates a more relaxed environment and a real trusting environment. The kids learn to trust each other and they learn to trust you. It has changed the way that my orchestras communicate with each other. They're working together as a team now because I gave each one an individual voice, which is pretty cool. 